so here we are having this skeleton of fowl in which we can see that pectoral girdle this is scapula coracoid and clavicle along with the humerus combinedly forms here and this is parallel to the vertebral column this is the vertebral column these are the radius ulna these are the carpals metacarpals forming the wing so here we can see that is completely typical pectoral girdle is found in case of fowl and it scapula we can see that scapula cranially articulating with the coracoid process and furculum this clavicle of both side is forming v shaped structure that is furculum and the glenoid fossa is there it is structure is forming there in the head of the humerus and the leaving a space between them that is called foramen triosseum which is visible in this position that is for the passage of the tendon of supra coracoidus muscle so we can see this in this point four the stru four structures are joining this is the humerus scapula proximal end humerus proximal end this is coracoid which is joining this is sternum this is very highly developed keel or uh, having keel carina and wings this is the ribs this is the scapula uh, this scap uh, scapula is here this is clavicle so like this we can see that the parts in case of fowl